guys! So as 2020 draws to a close, I wanted to make a video showing you the planners and journals that I have been using throughout the year that I am actually going to take with me into 2021. So this is a range of planners and journals that either span more than one calendar year or are undated or for some other reason that I'm going to be able to keep using rather than switching out at the beginning of 2021. I'll make a separate video showing you the new planners and journals that I'm going to introduce for 2021. So as usual, this is divided into three categories. The planners belonging to my core planning system, the more specialist planners that I use for a more particular function, and the journals. So let's start with the core planners. Right, okay, so as you know, I have a system of three core planners. My Hobonichi Cousin, which I use as a work planner, my Hobonichi Weeks, which is my personal planner, and then a basic Salogy, which is my daily planner. So as you can see, there are only two planners in this stack, the Hobonichi Cousin and the daily planner, the Salogy. So the reason that the Weeks isn't here is because the Weeks is obviously a calendar year planner, and I am going to be switching over from my 2020 weeks to my 2021 weeks soon. And I've made a video about that, and I'll show it again to you when I do the video about my new planners. So the reason that my cousin is going to be continuing with me into 2021 is because it is the spring version. So ever since I first started using a cousin in 2015, I bought the spring version. And that was because when I decided to start using a cousin, it was around February, and so I didn't want to buy the January version and have a lot of blank spreads at the beginning. And ever since then, I've just used the spring version. So I always buy my new cousin in February when the spring Hobonichi um, launch happens. And so I still have a few months left in this planner. I've been using this since April of 2020 and so obviously right now we're in the beginning of November and I've got another like four or five months left in it. So nothing is going to change here. This is not um, any kind of a dramatic time for me, the switch over from uh, 2020 to 2021. Nothing is going to change in my cousin. I think I'll do a video showing you what I have been doing with my cousin recently and how I've been using it, but I mean for those of you who have been um, watching my videos for a while, there won't be any big surprises here. I think one of the most exciting things is that I got this full page sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs, which I will link down below, and that has been really cool. So that is my cousin, which will be continuing with me into the new year. Then we have my Stalogy. So this is a B6 cover from Notique, which I will link down below and obviously the Stalogy is undated and that's why I really like using it as a daily planner because there was a period between March and July, the beginning of lockdown, when I just didn't use this hardly at all and I was able to come back to it in July and I've been using it almost every day since then but there are no blank pages and that was amazing because you can see I've used about I guess a quarter or a third of it and I started this at the beginning of January so this is a like kind of year-long planner it's undated but it's designed to have enough pages to cover the whole year so if I had been using this consistently I would probably be getting near to the end now but because there was this big gap I still have all of this extra room and so I can continue using this into 2021 and, you know, I don't feel bad because there are no blank pages, and that's why I love it. Because for a daily planner, I don't need to reference it, really. I like the fact that in the Salogy, you can circle or underline the date and the day and uh, the day of the week. And I do do that so that I have a record of, you know, if I'm flipping through it afterwards, which I like to do, just to see when, you know these particular things were happening. But I don't actually need to cross-reference anything here because this is just individual daytight compartments. So for example, this is today and you know this was Friday and this was Thursday and, and so on and so forth. And so I've got tons more space in this and I think if I keep using it almost every day as I have been doing for the last few months then I'll be able to use this up until probably the middle of 2021 and then I will switch it out for a new Salogy and just carry on like that so it actually really doesn't matter when I start this during the year or how long it lasts. And I find that very liberating. 
I normally like to have dated planners because I don't like writing in the dates myself and I just feel like for my main planner I would never be able to cope so like for my work planner because I have so many things involving dates I feel like I don't have the time or the motivation to do something you know like bullet journal like or to have um, something where I have to fill in the dates individually because I just rely too much on the calendars and I really like having them pre-printed but for this it really doesn't matter it's just you know one day is its own individual island and it, you know each, each day gets its own page and so I really like that so yeah this says 2020 on it because when I was first setting this up I bought some vinyls and one of them came with a free 2020 vinyl and uh, so I just put that on because I thought it would be a nice reminder of the year when I started using this and at that time I didn't know how long it would last for so yeah I just bought this really cool moon phases pocket-sized calendar from an Etsy shop which I will link down below and this has all of the dates it's a, an entire 2021 calendar and it also has the moon phases as a bonus so I think that's really cool and I just use this in case I ever need to reference what the date is you know like if I I mean I'm generally surrounded by planners so it's not a problem trying to find the date but if I want to work out um, what the date is and I don't want to go and open another planner I can just check this so that is kind of the way that I keep this you know sort of being a, a dateable system and I have a separate one for 2020 which came as a freebie with a Mumsy and Bub order so that's what I'll be using until the end of this year and then I'll switch over to this one so yeah that is my daily planner which I'm going to be taking with me into 2021 and then we move on to the more specialist planners. So many of you are familiar with my beloved Fat Hobo, just keeps getting fatter and fatter. So this is a five-year Techo in the A5 size from Hobonichi, and I've been using this for the past almost two years now. And this is my like daily dose of stickerating. So basically, I just use this planner, it's a daily planner obviously, and I just use it every day. I do a little bit of sticker rating. So I, I don't write on the pages. I just write on the stickers. So I cover the whole thing with stickers. And then I write some, you know, kind of uh, small daily overview type plans. So like this is today. These are sort of the main work things that I have to do today. And then I also wrote down make video. And it's it's kind of just like a fun place I really just wanted to see what it looks like after five years and it's been really really cool this year looking through it as I'm going through for the second time and seeing what I was doing this time last year and it's been particularly poignant or interesting in the age of coronavirus to see the kinds of things that I was doing this time last year you know before the pandemic had had hit because it, it's just my everyday life was quite different and so basically that's how I use this so on some days I have like a color coordinated spread and so the thing that's fun about this is that every day every year when I get to this particular day the whole thing will be purple so um, the first year I decided that that this day will be purple and then you know the second year I came back and I had to find purple stickers and then in the third year and the fourth year and the fifth year I'll have to do the same thing so eventually this whole thing will be a giant purple spread for five years some of them are just you know kind of not planned any colors that I want and this is really really fun and so obviously I'm going to be taking this with me into 2021 because I still have three years left of it it started in 2019 and it goes until 2023 so I'm just gonna carry on using this the same way as I have been using it and as I've said in other videos it's reached maximum fatness but it has to even out so the bottom that doesn't have any stickers is for the last three years and next year it will get a bit fatter here and then it, by the end of the fifth year the whole thing will kind of look like the top does so I'm looking forward to carrying on with that the only thing is that it's getting really heavy okay so the next one that I am carrying with me is my Paper Blanks 18 month horizontal weekly planner which I use as a kind of well-being planner so I talked about this in a recent video I basically just use this planner to map out all of the nice things that I want to do the next day to basically both remind me to focus on the positive and also to help me keep those things in mind because I think a lot of us like kind of tend to get you know way down in all of our responsibilities and jobs and things that we have to do and that we feel like we have to do well 
and it can be quite stressful and so I just wanted a planner where I could remind myself like every time I go to this planner I'll only see nice things here and and things that are fun so I put in things like watching TV playing D&D uh, cuddling the pets hot tea hot coffee anything that is just nice and makes me happy um, there's a, a true crime YouTube channel that I really like so I put that down watching planner videos anything like that I will put down in here and I started this at the beginning of July at first it started off as a personal planner and then I switched over to this like kind of happy nice things planner but I've been using it since the beginning of July and so we're now as you can see the beginning of November and it has a full year until the end of 2021 so obviously I'm going to be taking this with me and carrying on using it in exactly the same way so I just like kind of decorate the spreads however I feel like doesn't take very long because this is quite small it's it's kind of like a b6 or like slightly smaller than a b6 this is it in comparison to my b6 stalogy so you can see it's a little tiny bit smaller than that it's called midi in the paper blanks size terminology and yeah so I just decorate it and then I just write in all of the fun stuff that I want to do it like every day I'll write in for the next day and it only takes you know like 30 seconds and so that's this is like kind of my my happy well-being planner so that will be coming with me and then we have the last of my kind of niche planners and this is a new one which I haven't shown you before since I've been using it I did a walkthrough of this journal when I first got it when it was blank so this is an Archer and Olive A5 Moon Phases Blackout journal and I absolutely love it so it has the silver edging and it's like this nice chunky satisfying hardback with a kind of like linen cloth feeling cover and it has black paper with white or gray dots and it's really really cool so I have to admit that I kind of bought this just because I was so fascinated with it and I love moon phases I'm really into anything with moon phases or constellations right now and I was just intrigued by the black paper because I'd never had a blackout journal before so what I decided to use this for is as a planner for uh, Jewish Sabbaths and holidays. So basically every Friday night to Saturday night is the Jewish Sabbath um, called Shabbat. And then the Jewish holidays, which you know come at various points throughout the year. And I decided that it would be a nice way to kind of commemorate them and also to mark them off as different from my like regular weekday planning because on the, um, Sabbath and Jewish holidays I don't work I don't you know like do any of my normal plans and I thought that it would just be fun to kind of like have a dedicated planner just for those days because like you know I don't I don't write in my daily planner on those uh, on those days you're actually not supposed to write like kind of according to you know Jewish law and tradition you're not supposed to write at all on Sabbath and festivals but um, I, I do, but like only fun things. Oh, hello, hello. There's a, a dog has just come in. She might, she might uh, enter the frame. Hmm? You want to say hello? Hmm? <laughs> you got a glimpse of her tail. That's Pet Pet. So I bought these really fabulous stickers uh, from an Etsy shop, which I will leave linked down below. And it's really cool because they are moon face stickers, but they're just planner stickers that go for a whole year. They're um, like kind of academic here, August to July. So, yes, yes, hello, hello. What do you want? You're saying hello to everyone. Do you want to play? I just finished making the video, okay? Then we'll play. So, basically this has its own internal, internal form of reference because I can check all of the dates in here without having to look at another planner. So I really, really like this. And again, I am only writing on stickers in this planner. Obviously, I'm not writing on the the black pages because I only use fountain pens. And somebody had a really great suggestion of using one of the fountain pens with like metallic ink, which I'm kind of keeping in mind for the future. But for now, I'm just writing on stickers. So I really like the fact that I could um, get these beautiful stickers that will kind of, you know, keep me going for a year. This will probably last a couple of years because... I only write in it like you know I only use it once a week and then on Jewish holidays which is like you're coming back into the video you're going to look at the planner do you want to sit here 
<laughs> so sorry for the temporary dog interruptions anyway so this will probably last like two or three years I think and that's fine because I can just get some more stickers next year so I decorated this spread just to say 2020 because this is when I started using it and so why don't, why don't you sit down no she can't decide what she wants to do okay you sit down right there so basically I'm putting in the dates in here using happy planner stickers and this was when I first started using it, it was the beginning of October so I've only been using this for about a month and this happened to be when we had a holiday uh, Sukkot uh, it's like a kind of autumn harvest festival and I was so I just made a timeline for the day and put in like kind of some of the things that I wanted to do you've seen this planner before you know about this planner yeah and and then for the next day so this was there were like kind of two days of festival and so I just kind of like put in all of my plans and all the things I wanted to do and I just like kind of have fun with this so I made this like kind of basically just a kind of rainbow theme like each day is a different a different color this was the next weekend that was like kind of another continuation of that holiday and then it's just uh, Shabbos or Shabbat, the Jewish Sabbath. So I've just done one like kind of every week, once a week. And I, I really just like, like I said, I don't need this, strictly speaking. I mean, obviously, strictly speaking, I only need like two planners, my work planner, my personal planner. But I like having more planners. I enjoy it. And um, so these are days when I'm not writing in my other planners, right? Because they're like days off. And so this is just for fun. So I just like kind of, you know, decorate it with, I'm kind of experimenting, trying to um, use the negative space of like the blackout planner because I've never like, you know, worked on a black page before and it's really fun. And so I just put in like kind of the things that, you know, that we're thinking of doing and, and then this is another full page sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs, which I really, really love. And then I've got up to, this was the one that I made for next Shabbos which I'm excited about because that's a rainbow spread so I'm just going to try experimenting like with lots of different designs and colors and whatever I feel like doing and um, when it switches over to 2021 I'll just make a new one of these one page spreads I think and just write 2021 here and then carry on and see how long this lasts so it, I'm thinking it will probably last like maybe three years um, but yeah that's my uh, Shabbos and festival planner. So those are the last of my niche planners that I'm going to be carrying over into 2021. And then I have got my journals that are going to be carrying over. So the first one in this category is this undated planner from Let's of London, which is owned by Filofax, or they're both owned by the same people. And this is a planner that I bought in 2019, May 2019 at PlannerCon Europe. And I decided to use this for things like recurring dates, so like birthdays, I would write in here. And then it's basically the idea is that this is a, it's a, it's a yearly, so it's a daily planner that's undated, which I had never seen before. So it has a space for every day of the year, but it doesn't have dates, as in it doesn't have a specific year. So you can just use it over and over and over again. So it's kind of like the same concept as a five-year techo or, you know, um, a five-year or ten-year journal but it doesn't have a limit because you can keep using it for as long as it lasts and I thought that was a really cool idea so what I decided doing was writing down like kind of a member one memorable thing that happened or maybe two things on a day and then also I wrote like you know birthdays and kind of important dates that will recur in the same date every year and then I started in in I think I only started doing this in late 2019, writing down like kind of important dates and then as, or like just memorable things. Sometimes they were fun things and sometimes like there were things that were not that important, but I tried to do like, uh, you know, kind of something sort of memorable or something that would be fun to look at in, pre in um, subsequent years. And then I thought this could last like 10 or more years and, you know, like just keep using it until it fills up with all kinds of fun memories. And then... When the pandemic hit, I kind of started using it as a way of recording like coronavirus related dates. So, you know, like when something happened, like here the cinemas closed, here I taught my first online lesson because universities switched over to teaching online, the UK schools closed. 
etc. And I thought that it would be kind of interesting to look back on it and you know just kind of remember what had happened because it's such unusual times I felt like this was sort of a way to document it. So I've just been kind of using it sporadically like that. There have been a lot of times when I've just forgotten and then I thought like oh because it's not dated I don't feel the pressure to write in it every day. So after a couple of months I've realized that I haven't used it at all and then I'll go back and write something. Or when some kind of like momentous COVID milestone has happened I've, I've gone back and written it in here. And that's that's what I'm using it for. So like you know if you contrast this year and last year. Last year I wrote, we, we got these really cool watches, James and I. This is, this is mine and he has a similar one and they came, so this is now a year ago yesterday, that's when they arrived and then yesterday, this year, uh, a new four-week lockdown was announced for the UK. So I'm just like kind of trying to make this a bit more, now like, I guess it's kind of morphing into like big historical events or things that you know like don't just affect me at the beginning it started off being very like kind of light-hearted and you know like fun just things for me and James to remember but now I'm kind of making it more into like I guess sort of recording like big events um, that I might want to remember later so that's what this is for so this is going to continue into 2021 and who knows how many more years after that then I have my A6 five-year techo which I use as a way of recording highlights and events of the day. So there's a little bit of overlap between this one and this one I guess but I only use this to record like one event and per day and not every day you know just kind of like whenever I remember and this is turning into more of a kind of like big historical and political type things that I might want to remember whereas this one is just really the events of my day and so it can be really you know small things and just kind of what my day looked like. So this is today's date over the last two years and then tonight I'll fill this in. So on the left hand side I write in what happened during the day. It's just like six things, like the main things that I can remember that happened during the day. And then on the right I write my highlights, like my favorite things of the day, which might be the same as these or it might be slightly different. Sometimes when I'm working on this side I remember something that I didn't write down here or vice versa. It only takes me a couple of minutes to fill in and obviously I have been filling this in for this is the third year so almost three years and so when I start over again in January it will be the fourth year so yeah you can see like this already has three years filled in and so I'll start over again with the fourth year so this is going to be with me for another two years and finally Last but not least, we have Cookie Monster. And this is my other A5 five-year techo. So I have my Fat Hobo, which is an A5 five-year techo. And then I have my Slim Hobo, which is the same thing. And this is what the difference looks like if you put like a ton of stickers on it. So this is this plus like, uh, you know, five kilos of stickers. And I use this for recording anything to do with positivity. So I write down things that I'm grateful for. I do, I fill this in once a day and this was the first year. So it's 2020 to 2024. So I'll be using this obviously for a lot longer. And so I'll write down, on the left I write down things that I'm grateful for, things that, things that I'm grateful for, things that I'm looking forward to either that day or the next day, things that I'm kind of hoping will work out that I'm nervous about. So this is kind of like a vision log, I guess, like things that haven't actually happened yet, but I write it down as if they have happened and that kind of makes me feel a bit more reassured about it. And then I write down things that I accomplished during that day. So again, it can be small things. It's just like to kind of try to give myself a boost. And so obviously this is the first year that I have been using this and so I'm going to carry on into 2021. And that's it. So we have the three journals or trackers. We have the three specialist planners where I'm like just planning one particular thing like, uh, you know, festivals and, uh, and Sabbaths or like well-being, happy things. And, and this one where I just write down, you know, like kind of my main plans for the next day as a summary, but it's really mostly about the sticker rating. And then we have these two that are my core planning system, my daily planner and my cousin. So of these, I think most of them are going to be with me for actually quite a bit longer than just 2021. 
um, because either they're a five-year techo or they're undated and they'll probably last for a while. Um, I guess the cousin and the salagi are the ones that are probably going to last the least amount of time because this I will be replacing in April with the 2021 spring cousin and then this one is probably going to last sometime into the middle of 2021. So these are my loyal planners and journals that will be continuing with me into the new year and like I said I'll make a separate video with the new planners that I'm going to be introducing in 2021. So I hope that you enjoyed this. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!